Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm updating my BTS Jungkook photo card collection. If you're new to this channel, you should know that I am an OT7 stan. However, for collection goals and purposes, I do like to focus on my bias, which is JK. I currently have four binders and we're just gonna work slowly through all of them, uh, beginning with this first one, which is Korean albums, Japanese albums and DVDs and Blu-ray inclusions. Uh, so first up, we're gonna set up for proof which was announced about a week ago now, I think. It is currently the 9th of May, so TXT's comeback day. Ah, so exciting. Also the first day of tracklist spoilers, spoilers, tra tracklist announcements has happened and it is a CD of all their main title songs, which is so exciting. It's gonna be so cool to see what the next two days hold, uh, but I am going to set up for Proof, which is not a great name for a trading community, but this is all that has been announced so far for Proof. Don't know whether or not there's gonna be more like pre-order benefits or anything, probably some lucky draws in there. The stamp as always means that I have the item secured. Uh, that one's secure because you get an OT7 set of these in the album. So yeah, Proof Standard Edition PCA, and then we have Proof Standard Edition PCB, which is random. Sorry about my pajama coat as well, it's so cold, and I just can't be bothered getting out of it to put on a jumper. <laughs> and then we have Proof Compact Edition PC, and then Proof Weverse Pre-Order Benefit PC. I didn't end up ordering off of Weverse. Oh, well, well I did, but then I canceled the order because it was expensive without the shipping. And I sent it to a K Addy and I was like, with the poster tubes, it's gonna be so expensive to send to Australia. So I canceled it and ended up ordering from Coco Dive because they have free shipping at the moment. And also there was like a 10% off code that I could apply to it. So that's just set up for proof and then I haven't joined any go for the Japan fan club holo PC, which I hope that everyone else is freaking out about. And then there's just going to be so many out there so I can just try and get it later. But that's all that we have so far. I'm guessing that they're going to have like Soundwave, MTU and Power Station down here. So it'd be nice if one more thing is announced, but I won't hope for it because this is already getting a lot of PCs. So yeah, but I ended up having a fair amount. Uh, Oh, that's big. Yeah, so Butter ends up being one one page with these two, like, event cards. So maybe there might be another little event that they might have. But yeah, that's that's proof set up. I'm going to flip further to the back. I have changed this around a little bit. So I put, like, these in here so that it makes a bit more sense. Oh, this one has slipped the... I need to still tape some things down. These are now in this section instead of a random section at the back. But I'm going to skip back here to... This is butter in here. I might still move this forward, but they are like the larger inclusions from albums. Again, things still slide. I need to tape things down, but I have put this page here to put in some proof bigger inclusions, which are these ones. So there is the standard edition postcard, which will fit in a standard Andy Jack slash cosmic sleeve pocket like that. Uh, everything that I use will be linked down below as well. And then we also have the compact edition postcard, which is the same size as a persona postcard. Again, might move this like to be at the start of the binder in the actual section with the PCs. There is a proof Weverse pre-order benefit uh, special gift, which for Bada, it was like the film strip. So maybe they're going to do something like that again. Don't know. <laughs> oh, you know what they might have? They might have the Hybe the hide PC again, like that lucky draw. That might be the other card that I can put at the front. And then they had a proof universal sticker, which also don't know the sizings of that. Maybe, maybe it'll be like the sizings of these ones, like the square, hopefully, because that'll be some nice consistency. But that is all set up. I haven't stamped any of them because these two are random and also, these are random. I'm just going to try and purchase this one secondhand as well. I've ordered two copies off of Coco Dive, two sets off of Coco Dive. So hopefully I can try to pull the JK to put in here or trade for him because I only collect him for those like Weverse things. At least this time around I'm going to. I think last time for Butter I did collect OT7 for Weverse, but because the albums are quite expensive this time around, I'll have to see what I'm going to do but I will collect OT7 for the postcards of both versions because I think I'll just end up with enough albums to do that. 
if they end up doing lucky draws and that kind of thing. So next up, I'm going to go into the DVD section. So they have announced a new muster DVD. So I'm gonna be taking out these two fillers that I have in here. Goodbye, little fillers, they're so cute. But I have fillers for Subuju muster. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna to have to change this around and put him up there. Which is a shame because now we're starting to like split up the musters and fair meets. So we have the muster DVD and then the master Blu-ray. So the DVD and the Digicode version have the same PC, which is, thank goodness, <laughs> thank goodness. And then soon they're gonna announce a memory. So this memories page is gonna to have to start going onto a new page, which is kind of a shame. And then they might announce like a new DVD for the PTD, like Soul or something. That'll be cool. Cause then you can take out these two fillers and make a new page, but that's, that is all set up for the new Subuju DVD, Subuju, Subuju DVDs and Blu-ray. I haven't actually ordered them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't ordered them. I just haven't gotten around to it. But also for the DVD and Blu-ray, there is a holo postcard and a holo photo. So if I had ordered them, I could have stamped these because they're in OT7 sets. But I normally put these at the end of, so this is, DVDs and Blu-ray bigger inclusions. So I normally put them like here. So I think for now, I'm just gonna put them on the backs of there. I will be getting OT7 for them, even though I haven't ordered them yet. Oh, I need to swap them. I might start a new page because if they're going to announce more stuff for memories, then I can put all of the muster slash fanmate stuff together and then make a full pocket of memories inclusions. But for now, I'm just gonna put them there because I don't have a full pocket sitting next to me. Uh, yeah, okay, next. Still looking for his I Need You broadcast. I was in a bid sale for it recently, but come back, I'm gonna, I need to not bid on that for, for the moment. Uh, I think I maybe, oh no, I've got a bigger postcard to go in here. So the Japan Fan Club questionnaire bonus postcard is this one. And he is going into this little slot here. So this is still a Japan Fan Club kind of section. Yeah, cool. And that is it for this binder. So let's go on to the next one. The new setup that I have going is like this tiny table. I hope it looks okay. I'm really happy with the lighting because it doesn't have any glare and it's laying flat and I don't have to use like packs of cards. I moved these into the front of here. Let me know if this is the correct order, if, I, if this came first. I think it did. <laughs> but yeah, I moved it out of like the Japanese section. Uh, I'm gonna flip way back, way, way back into PTD and I have the final card for the first round of PTD merch which is this one up here which is the PTD tour backpack unit. The stamp like goes kind of like this after a little while but I'm just glad that it doesn't uh, get on the actual sleeve. I thought maybe it would do that but it doesn't thank goodness. So here is the card. They're so cute. They're so beautiful. My plan coming up is to actually stop collecting the units that come with random merch, like these ones. Uh, I hope I don't regret it though, because I do really like the look of a completed page and it seems to only be really completed if I do collect the units, but I'm kind of sick of having to get all this random merch. It's kind of like a drain to the wallet, so hmm, I'll have to see what I do coming up. But then we also have the Soul uh, merch drop, which wow! <laughs> Are we calling these the soul, the soul PTD version? Or are we calling it round two PTD? But yeah, let's put these ones in. This one is the one that isn't damaged. I had a damaged version of this. So thank you so much for, I can't remember the person who helped me get it, but thank you. <laughs> okay, so there's that set in there. And then, we have his special card, which is this one. Oh, should I put that at the top actually because it's in the same concept as that. 
And then the blanket. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. The blanket unit is this one. So do I want to put this here? Because it's, oh no, that's in the same unit, in the same outfit as these. And then this one's the unit that has JK, and then this one's an OT7, just as a little filler. So does that look good? So it's in the same kind of color. Yeah. I like this unit a lot, so I thought that I'd put that one in there. Yeah, it looks okay. Ooh, the backs look cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, here is 3D photo and the message photo. Should these two. So the 3D photo I still have in the packaging, but it is damaged, so I might take it out and then just cut out the sticker and keep it. But there's that, and then this is in a Love Me Sleeve Me sleeve, which hangs out a little bit, so I might cut it slightly, but I'm just gonna put this in a one pocket page, even though it, I'm pretty sure it does fit in a two pocket page that way. But then I couldn't work out how to actually store that. Maybe like that, and then tape it down. Does that look stupid though? I think that kind of looks stupid. Maybe I will change it to a two pocket. Hmm, maybe later. And then this, should I put it into collab? I've seen people put it in collab, so I might move it, but this is the lucky jaw that I created for my cinema. And I thought that I could maybe just put it in here because this side of, oh, I don't want to damage it though. There we go. This side of this is quite boring. So, but it relates to that. Even it's unofficial though, like I just made it. But yeah, I thought that would spice up that side of it. And I'll just keep it down there still. Uh, and next to it, put, put this. Like, eh. <laughs> It's just gonna slide around though. Maybe I should sleeve it and then stick it. Yeah, do we like it? Me. <laughs> uh, here, don't have anything to add. Oh, I have some fillers though. So, fillers, season's greetings, Vegas store. Okay, the fillers are the, the Tor MGM Hotel PC. Uh, I'm just gonna put it down here. That one is confirmed. And then, oh, I can stamp this. I actually got this from a seller in Australia in a bid sale, so that one's coming. So that's their Area 51 postcard. Someone did say that they were gonna get it for me because their boyfriend was getting a set and their boyfriend doesn't collect and they offered it to me. So I wasn't like really bothered, like worried about getting it from anywhere, but they've ghosted me since then, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then PTA Las Vegas, oh, the live play PC. Thank you so much, Maria. You are a bloody legend. She, yeah, managed to get it for me. So thank you so much. Thank you. Um, but I think I'm going to place it next to this somehow. So I did originally take out this filler, which was the second version of this lucky draw because he's so expensive. But I'll place it back. <laughs> uh, and then place the oh maybe I should put this one up here I, of course there is like another version there is another version of this PC that is for the Las Vegas like album lucky draw but oh that's a postcard that doesn't go there but I didn't actually go for it because it's exactly the same picture it's just the backs a bit different so I didn't I didn't like try to get it in any goes or anything but now looking at it, probably I should have, so then it would make a whole line of PTD. But what can you do? Um, the postcard. Where am I gonna put it? This is unofficial. This is just something my friend made. So for now, until I get the postcard, I'm just gonna put it up here. Just, yeah, it's not gonna go there though. But that's like the lucky draw army booth kind of section. This PC, I'm so excited to see it in person. Ah, but I probably won't get it for a while because it's in, it's it's with my friend Nicole and I'm making like a big package with her in America. Uh, I, I did kind of want to 
get as much as I could before my binder flipped through in the middle of the year, but I, I think I, I just want to make the, the package a bit bigger, just to make the, sh the postage like a cross stitch surely worth it, so it probably won't be in that video, but that's okay. Uh, Master fan meeting, do we have anything? I don't think so. I think I'm all up to date with Master fan meeting. They should be having another one soon. I'm wondering what because they've announced the comeback like schedule. I'm wondering what the, the three question marks on their debut date will be. Because there's rumors that the stadium, a stadium in Seoul is like booked out for across those dates. So that might be BTS. I know. The third binder, which is a little bit dirty. Is this one? So this is all the packages and season's greetings and everything else apart from collab. Um, I managed to secure the season's greetings 2022 pre-order unit postcard that I kind of didn't know existed until I watched Nian Yang Yoongi's video. Uh, I did manage to get the unit with JK, so and they're really actually really cheap, surprisingly. Considering they're so gorgeous, so I got his magnet which is so heavy and I don't think I really want to put it in there. Actually, I'm going to turn these around, but it's so heavy. So I don't know if I want to store it in there because it's really heavy. <laughs> Did I say that it was heavy enough times? And I'm going to put the unit postcard down here for now. I've seen some people like have some really nice three pockets. So maybe I might invest in those. I set two pockets down here and then a pocket here, oh, pocket here, and then a tiny pocket here. And it looks like it's like the same kind of material as these sleeves so I might do some investigating into that and then I also already put in another another copy of this which is the inside of this poster because I love this image okay membership kit uh, we have membership six merch box but I am gonna have to change this around because they've announced a seventh merch box and it's got another PC so I might take these out and place them elsewhere and make this just a PC page. Uh, moving up, this was fifth, wasn't it? This was like the travel luggage one. The problem with this like pocket page is that I can't sleeve the PCs that I'm putting in here. And also these ones are facing the wrong way. So maybe I should make another page of like eight pocket ones that go this way. So I'm gonna have to put this one across. That works out better with having the two actual like membership kit ones on this side. I was putting it into this pocket page because this one's so much longer. <gasps> this one now gets to go in the middle though. No, I love that. I'm pretty sure the other one, the next one is also horizontal. So it might look okay. It's just such a tight fit that I really don't like it because I, I would love to sleeve them protect them but there oh okay it looks okay and then maybe put these down here somehow or at the top mm. oh well for now I can put it in this sleeve and then when I get the other PC I can rearrange it we can rearrange it I like saying we instead of I we can rearrange it together but yeah that's how that one is looking I don't mind it it's just annoying that this one was such a weird shape. Why? Why did they do this? Nah! And you can't even, like, I would never trim it because it's a PC. And also if I trim it, this is lost. <laughs> I'm not going to trim that, but that's way too far. Skipping right back. Vesta is also coming up. Wow. There's so many things going to happen. My mum's having a shower. My mum's having a shower. I'm sorry if you can hear the shower noises. That's so annoying. Ah, uh, I can never just get absolute complete silence in this place. I need to move out. One eternity later. <laughs> uh, so we have the sleep kit and the muffler PC. Don't ask me which one is which. Oh, I picked up that one too. <laughs> Don't ask me which one's which. They're so cute. They're so cute. But they're so similar. 
yeah, that, yeah. So I'm just gonna put that one down there. So it has the little ducky kissy face and then this one up here. If they continue doing PCs that are so similar, I'm not gonna probably get them. But you can't tell in like the blurry images. Uh, you got a cardigan PC, which is this little cutie with his camcorder. That one up there. And then I ended up combining these three, which was the sticker set, which was that one, the sticker set two, and then the blanket photo seal, which was kind of a waste of time in getting. But did we know that it was going to be just a really flimsy paper postcard thing? Nope. <laughs> So that one will go down there and gorgeous, beautiful, really, really happy. Cool. So that's done that page and we have this one, which is the four cut photo, which for now will be in a page by itself. Maybe that looks kind of stupid though, kind of stupid. Uh, the postcards and then the photo book images. Thank you, Jenny, for hosting a go for all these things because it was just, they had so much for the little wishes and it was good to not have to purchase absolutely everything and just to join goes for this because, wow, they had so much. Uh, I like this image the better, the better, the best. So it's going to be at the front and then these two on the back maybe. So like that and then like that. And they fit so wonderfully in these two pocket pages. I hope they continue doing postcards like this. They stick out a little tiny bit, little bit. But I know some people are trimming them, so I might. And then the little postcard I'm gonna put, oh, the back's cute, but I was just gonna put it up there. Maybe I could somehow incorporate that into this. And then I have the photo book just things saying that it's official so I might just put it in between because <laughs> I like to keep the stickers but yeah so that's my little wishes all complete for JK yeah I don't like that alone I'll have to move it but yeah that's that's all done oh cuties okay uh, so concept exhibition no progress on butterfly dream <laughs> Will I ever have any progress on it? Probably not. <laughs> uh, fact. So fact. Decided not to collect the pre-order benefit clear files because people are charging a lot of money for them. And they're just clear files. So goodbye, clear files. <laughs> I'm not collecting clear files anymore, I don't think. I mean, they don't even fit in a binder, so... Unless they're like mini, like smaller clear files, I'll collect them. But if they're A4 size, no. So next up we have the version 2 postcards. So we have 1 and 2. Which are these two. Oh, he's so stunning. And they have announced... Do I have fillers for it? They have announced some more fact book. Yeah, fact book stuff. So with the China Yuzhiru fact book, they have... Oh, more, more stuff. So they have a pre-order PC. It comes in like an OT7 set. So that one's actually confirmed. I'm getting that one in a go. See if that one's confirmed. And then they have a film strip, which I have never seen like someone selling the film strip. So I think that's going to be a bit hard. And then the random PC, which is hollow. And they decided to release the random PC like between two, like, you know how you can get those magnetic clear frames that like clip together with the magnets? Well, they released it packaged inside of that so then all of the pcs have like the little magnet like dents where the hollows like come off why why did they do that so basically all the pcs the hollow pcs are damaged Ugh, guys <laughs> like common sense don't put it in the actual holder like it's a hollow pc i'm thinking of i did have this across two pages maybe i could still do that now that we have more stuff Although none of them, they're PCs, so I might put, I don't know where I'll put them. But I was thinking about moving these two on the backs of these. I have trimmed these postcards. I get quite a lot of questions about it. I, I have trimmed them. 
you have to take off about two to three millimeters on the side in order for them to fit into these larger pockets. These are the larger four pockets. I should have lined that up better. You can see the white. Oops, he's stuck a bit. So I'm gonna put my two favorite images at the front. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like the carnival one, like this one. Wow, the way he's sitting. Ugh. But I'm gonna put those two and then these two on this side. Wowzers, that one really did not want to go in. But there we go, there's the fact page. Ta da! Okay, so I just decided that I didn't like how I set that up, so I fixed it. I put this back to how it was and then I've kept these in here and then I'm going to put these at the top. So the Factbook pre-order PC, maybe I could do like the same setup as this, but I think the film strip might hang out. I mean, I really, really don't like having PCs on the side, but if I'm using the keeps in the concept, like I don't like this. So maybe I could make like an eight pocket page of all the little PCs in this section. Please leave your thoughts on what I should do. Uh, because they just decided to announce more for the fact. So, yeah, I don't know. Next section is Defesta. So Defesta is like an event that's happening in Korea at the moment, an in-person event. For that, you can get postcards. So there's three postcards of JK. I secured them last night, which is good. I ended up just getting them off of uh, Neokyo, no, Makari, because with the, like, it, 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 then I don't have to pay shipping, so I can just put it in the Makari package and then just pay the one fee from Bai to come to me. And I found them for 10 Australian dollars each in, in one set, not like separate. Otherwise they would have like the 500 fee on top of it. And the random ticket is also confirmed. But see, this is another thing. This ticket is smaller, so I'm gonna have like a pocket of a small card again. Ah! Uh, they do also have a clear file for this, but again, the clear file is too big to put in a binder, so I'm not going to collect it, even though it's stunning. Like it's two, two, two sides. But yeah, it just sucks that the PC is small. Or no, it just sucks that the fourth item is small. But. Yeah, that'll that'll do. All of the Defesta stuff is on the way. I would really like to get Bang Chan's for that as well, somehow. I thought that the event was actually going to be in person, like it was actually going to be a, like each of the groups were going to perform, and I was really excited because it's like all of my alt groups are doing it, but it's not in person. Uh, let's go to Miscellaneous, which I don't think I have much to put in here either. I rearranged this slightly. Uh, whoa, okay. No, we have all the deco kit stuff. So deco kit book page. I have worked out what I'm going to do for all of this setup. Uh, off, off camera, off camera. So I stuck this on the back, which is another page out of the deco book. The deco book. This is his like mini kind of poster that was in it. So I'm going to put that as a little entry page into the set so he's so cute and then ot7 on the back this is my favorite ot7 image so i really like it eee, they're so cute and then here will be all of the pcs and stuff that came in it which is all of these so deco sticker his deco kit pc which i do think i have another one of these coming from McKinley, but I think it's going to go into the OT7 binder. And then JK's other stickers. He's like making a heart with himself. Uh, the instant photo number one. And then in the middle will be his random PC. So cute. Oh, does that have a scratch? Oh no. I thought it had a scratch then. So cute. And then his other instant photo, which is the best one. He's so adorable. Uh, down the bottom will be the memo pads and the other sticker. So I had the memo pad here. 
I did trim the memo pad a little bit in order to make it fit, but I did want it in my binder. Mainly because the other one, he has glasses and we didn't get any, like, any of these with the glasses. And I was going to put this sticker on top. Oh, I need to move him down. Do not block his face. Don't block his face. And then this was the other memo pad. I've seen people put a little bit of the washi tape on these. Maybe I could do that. So we have that washi tape and this washi tape. I think I only want to put this washi tape on it. Am I anywhere near JK? No. Okay. That would be a nice little thing to fill in this blank space. Okay, there he is. I can hear a dog in the distance. Like that. Yeah, that's cute. And then this sticker is gonna go there. And then, oh no, that one I was gonna have there. <sighs> now I've put the washi tape on there. If I could just move this sticker across. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, that looks a bit weird. Oh, it would have been better if I did keep that how I had it. Meh, that'll do. <laughs> Does that look okay? Yeah, I got the black ones in the middle. Unless I do put another one of his down here and then just put the stickers on the back. <laughs> uh, here I have the pages. So I just cut out his. I will be just using the other ones as freebies and trades and stuff. Just cutting them up as little cards or something. I am using the book. I'm not going to be keeping the book. I'm using everything in the kit how it's supposed to be. Everything's not going in today. Yeah, and then the other one. I did trim these down, but I mucked this one up a little bit. I don't know how. I like measured it. I measured it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so it like I'm, I stuffed it up down here, but it looks okay. I had to trim the pages a little bit to make that look like that. And then this is the back of him on that side. But I thought it looked better than having, because otherwise I would have had to store them all like this. See, this one's not trimmed at all. But I think it looks a bit better. Okay, so the Artist Made collection, I have the mood light ones, the hoodie ones are with Nicole. Um, oh, I have these two things as well. But this one is in here. Oh, the PC! I forgot about the PC. Ah, oh, he's so cute! Um, I didn't really set up a spot for these. So they're just the stickers. And this is a card that is JK's outfit. I like that side better. <laughs> Random. Uh, but I was going to put these in a one pocket. So I'm going to open the making log to that page. How do I want to store this? Oh, like that? Does that bend? Does that bend it? Like that? I really like his hair on this. Maybe I could do it that way. That way forward. Like that, because I want to have it open so I can see a couple of images and then the envelope maybe down the bottom. Eee! Like that? Does that look okay? Eh. It's going to move around a lot though. It'll do for now. Oh, the PC though. The PC. Uh, oh. I could put it in. See, in this I actually have like a PC section that's at the front. Down here. Although, but I need a space for the other one. Maybe I could put the other one there. I want the... The Armypedia PC I don't think is going to happen for a while. 
I'm gonna need the space for the hoodie one. I can put my Wikipedia here, even though that one's an eight pocket size card. And I wanna keep the web, the army bomb ones together. Uh, yeah, let's go on to the next binder. Okay, the last binder, this one, promotional and collaboration, a singular binder for all that. <laughs> I will be selling off a couple of things like this. I don't really need it, I don't think. But first off, in the smaller PCs, uh, Tokopedia still don't have, but I do have the Hyundai PC, which is this one. I'll put him down there. And then uh, this, which is SK Telecom, which I'm going to put here now. Oh. Yep. And they have announced some more PCs, so Xylitol has some, which I am now making a Xylitol page. They also have another like packaging for Xylitol, so I might put it there depending on the size of it. But they have Zara, two Xylitol, so I, they actually do have a Japanese and a Korean version of the Xylitol PC. He like moves his head slightly, so I will have to create another filler to put there. And they do have two versions of this letter PC in which he's like in the letter L. I don't know whether or not they are different in any way between Japan and Korea, but I haven't actually seen anyone selling them, so... That'll make a page though, which will be nice with the other packaging and then the two lots of the PCs, Japan and Korea, a page of Xylitol because <laughs> I clicked the packaging. McKinley, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit, yeah. Uh, I put this little kombucha thing here. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, these, I believe, are now unofficial. Very sad, but they're still cute. So we're going to keep them in here. <laughs> I can't believe we were all like, Fu fu fooled by it. Fuel? Fooled by it. The calendar cards. So, many, 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 many calendar cards of JK and his units. Uh, I believe this one's my favourite, so he will go at the front, and then the individual JK ones will also go at the front. Like that. And the units will go on the back in which I need and I can cover like the bottom half of this one and probably this one yeah let's I'll work this out off camera and then I'll just show it to you because it's going to be a little bit fiddly putting it in a one pocket I can put them in two pockets but I don't have I don't have enough at the moment okay I think I'm happy with it so we have the four at the front and the four at the back oh no Jimin Oh, he's blocked. Oh, no, Jimin. <laughs> I thought that, that'll have to do. Okay, so yeah, a little smart BTS page. I might cut off these these bits. That might look better. Yeah, that's that's done. And moving on. Oh, and I put this one here. Yeah. So we have the two take hook ones. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. <laughs> Um, so the cloud mini poster is on the way and it will go into one pocket but just for now I'm going to put in the Lotte duty free calendar card down here which is also on the way which are, I think there's actually two cards for that and then the smash postcard is not on the way there's also a clear file for this not collecting it and they have announced a Samsung Galaxy mini poster as well, which I think might fit in this if I'm lucky. So for now, I'm just going to put in all of these fillers in here. And then when they turn up, I'll put them in their actual pockets that they will need so that I can check the sizes. So yeah, many, many things with BTS's faces in them coming up. Uh, but we're coming to the end of this, so... There's also bigger versions of these cards, like the Giant Uno, which I would like to get, but it's kind of expensive, so... And comeback season is more important at the moment. But finally, we have... I just have D-Icon left, I think. One of one D-Icon PCs. 
And I'm going to take this one out because I'm actually going to make it a centerpiece for these pieces. So yeah, there's 14 of these for JK. Which I'll take out. These ones are all very matching. So they'll go in another page, but I'm going to put this one in the middle. Yeah. And then place these ones around him, which are more of the colorful ones. down here so then we've got like a T a T of the ones in like this shirt although that's a different shirt isn't it oh no that's the same shirt as that <gasps> but that looks like it matches that yeah <laughs> damn I think I messed it up that's the same as that but I want to keep that one down the bottom because I'm not a massive fan of it it's so close it's basically that PC isn't it Oh well. <laughs> and then these ones are more like red, and then these ones are just meh. <laughs> and then he's like a centerpiece in the middle, on the back. For these ones, which I'm just gonna place in here. But then there's gonna be a section down the bottom that's spare, because there's only six left of these. The closer one in the middle and the side on ones up here and then these three look like they match and I think on the back yeah so the back doesn't work out either because they gave us one of these with writing but ah, that'll have to do so I think that's actually it for this binder update I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in another one uh, very exciting times coming up so much I feel is going to drop soon so we've got memories we've got Hopefully, maybe a muster. We've got the Suruzu DVD. We have Festa coming up. We have the actual album proof coming up. So yeah, lucky draws and maybe lucky draws. <laughs> let's not like hope for them, but let's also not be surprised if we get them. Uh, please subscribe if you did enjoy watching and I'll see you later. Bye.